She's an extraordinary little girl, only 10 years old, and fighting a very grown-up disease. CBS 2's Lisa Siegel here now with a check of the pulse in this story, Lisa. And she's a wonderful girl. You may think it's a condition that only affects adults, but it doesn't. Close to 40,000 children in our state suffer from juvenile arthritis. My name is Michelle Minig, and I live in Downey, California. She's 10 years old and went from a room filled with girl stuff, all bears and dolls, and surfing signs to Washington, D.C. And that was during the speech. I was starting to cry. She spoke to members of Congress about juvenile arthritis. Michaela was diagnosed when she was three. My neck was really stiff. Um, I, my whole upper body wouldn't move, and every bump every stop in the car would hurt so bad. She was in so much pain and she just wasn't really old enough to tell us what was wrong. She would just say, it hurts, it hurts. It took 10 months visiting different doctors for the family to figure out what was wrong. And for Michaela, it wasn't easy. But one of the doctors said, oh, she's just doing it for the attention and they told my mom, and so are you, you just want the attention. And if that didn't shock Michaela's family enough, the diagnosis did. Michaela's arthritis is in her left ankle and knee. Arthritis is for old people. She's a baby. That's what she thought, but 300,000 children in the U.S. have the condition, some worse than others. Manny Loya, president of the Arthritis Foundation. The problem is that we don't have enough doctors in pediatrics to identify the child that has arthritis. So there are many that are undiagnosed or, even worse, misdiagnosed by their primary physicians. And who's that? This is Chauncey. With bare in tow, Michaela's days are mostly good. She takes medications to control her arthritis. She's a Girl Scout, a cheerleader, and now an advocate for kids like her. This is the last part of her speech to members of Congress. It's, I hope one day when I tell people that I got arthritis at age three, and they say, but kids don't get arthritis, I can tell them, you're right, not anymore, because research has found a cure. I like that part. <laughs> that was a good part. Michaela wants more attention focused on kids with arthritis, money for research, and training for doctors. For more information, just go to CBS2.com and click on the pulse.